Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here. Wanted to bring you guys a video of these guys, these beaters now. Uh, but it's kind of fun. It's one of these ones that I've had in my collection in a while. And I've showed these in a couple previous videos, but I've never actually showcased these in, in its own video and it probably deserves it. Um, these are some original foam posits, uh, foam posit pros. And uh, these are actually samples that I got like way, way back in the day. So pretty crazy. I got these, I think in 99 or so, but they released in, in 97. And uh, I was able to get them uh, straight from Nike. Uh, I was actually a product tester at the time, and I, I tested basketball shoes. And um, I remember I te uh, product tested the 16s, the Jordan 16s before they came out. And I had the 15s before they released. And that was like way, way, way back in the day. Um, but it was something that was kind of fun that I was able to do. And, and I never really thought much of it. And then nowadays, it's it seems like that stuff that I did back then, I wish I could go back and revisit those years because... I would have taken much better care of these and and the four other pairs I had. So I've I've told the story before, but for those that, that are new, this I've actually had I've had five pairs of the original foam posits. I had two pairs of blue pair of the the penny ones. I had two pairs of the blacks and I had one pair of the uh, the white. Um, and the the crazy thing is is that they were they were all five samples and the they were different. I don't know how to explain it. Because I don't remember all of the the differences, but I remember this black pair was different than the other black pair. I think they did some some tests on it, and this one didn't have air on it. It actually had a one C, or one of, the other one had a one C on it, even though it was a black foam posit one, or excuse me, foam posit pro, which is the has the swish on the side. Um, and also one of the uh, the blue pairs had like written somewhere on the shoe, like right in here, it said Nike or something like that. I've seen one image of the samples online somewhere, and I had a pair of them, and it just is crazy to me that I got rid of them and. I don't know, man. It just stuff like that happens, and the white pair were beat up worse than these, so I just threw them away. Um, but I'm glad I kept these ones. It's kind of like some nostalgic value to these, and just a great shoe. I remember when these came out. Um, the fact that I was able to get them two years after they came out, and doing product testing, the guy I asked the guy for a favor, um, who's no longer at the company, and actually he hooked me up with these uh, for forty bucks each um, for the black pair and the white pair, and then for the blue pairs it was eighty dollars each. So. I mean, uh, you do the do the math, and, and that's it's not that much money for for these, considering how uh, how crazy they are. But you you can see I just thrashed the crap of these. You can see that the the Nike Swish right here is completely worn off, and it's just foam underneath. That's why I like the foam posit ones like this um, better than the uh, and those are my custom OSU foams um, better than the the foam posit pros because this thing does fall off after. Um, extreme wear but this is extreme wear now I used to hoop in these and I used to play a lot of basketball back in the day and um, when I did play ball I played outside as well a lot on the asphalt so that's why these are just so thrashing you can see there's like mud in between the carbon fiber right here and you can see this carbon fiber is actually cracked a little bit or scratched up right here um, but it's like mud and stuff in here because I would play outside in the rain and stuff I mean I, I really really loved to hoop and it was free, and it was something free for me to do that I could just go out and, and have fun with, and that's what I did. Um, kind of close up here, you can see that through the foam posit, you can see that it fades, and you can see like the egg shell kind of color underneath the, the paint of the black foam posit. So kind of uh, kind of cool. Um, the carbon fiber, again, it's still intact, but it kind of protrudes out. Like right here, it protrudes out a little bit, and it's a little bit cracked, like right there. Um, and let's see what, what else. Oh yeah. The, the other thing I want to show you after you wear these enough times and you pull them up on your feet, the pull tab even, even shreds. So that's one of the things, but, but I played ball on these again for many, many years and, and they were great. And look at the tags on the inside. These ones actually don't say promo on them, but they're old school tags. So you can see right here, pretty crazy. Um, and actually like back in the day, I didn't really even care about insoles. I would just flip flop them out and these are just, not, they're not even the stock insoles. Um, I have them probably somewhere around, but it was one of those things that the insoles, um, this part right here, the felt part was peeled back. So it was kind of like this, right? Like this underneath, but it was sticky kind of, um, because the adhesive didn't hold on. So I just flipped them out just with some random running shoe insoles that I had from some other shoes. So kind of funny. I figured I'd share this story with you guys, uh, with, with these old beaters here, but kind of just fun, man. It's, it was, it's kind of cool that I've, I've had these for so many years and it was kind of the beginning of the sneaker addiction. The whole collecting hoarding problem that I've had, as you can see back here, didn't happen until, uh, many years later to 2003, 
but but my sneaker like obsession was before that just the hoarding and being able to buy a lot more sneakers didn't happen so like a lot of times i was i was able to get sneakers like th these because of opportunities not because i had a lot of money and i could just throw around and buy foam posits for 200 dollars back in the day or whatever the price tag was but uh that's pretty much it man hopefully you guys have a good weekend i'll have some other sneaker videos i'm really really looking at at starting a sneaker blog leave a comment let me know if you guys would like to see that and what you guys would like to see in a sneaker blog for myself i do want to create one but before i do that i want to make it unique i don't want to make it the same as everybody else's i want to have some some sort of twist um that i can add to it and if you guys think of a cool name uh let me know as well leave a comment let me know what you guys think i should call the uh the, the blog, I guess. I don't know if I want to keep it all sneakers. I kind of want to expand it because if you didn't know, I'm a huge gamer. I, if you check the description of every video, I have my gaming channels um, linked in there and I have like a, a YouTube channel for gaming that has like 32,000 subscribers. Or no, 38,000 subscribers now. Um, I don't know. I, I'm It's getting up there, but basically I have a gaming channel and so I could do some blog stuff with gaming news as well as I'm a huge movie buff, so I could do some stuff with some movie news as well. Uh, stuff like Robert Downey Jr. maybe not be back for Avengers 2 and stuff like that It'll draw my interest and I figured I could share those type of things. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys think I should create a blog, what type of content you guys would actually like to see and also maybe uh, some sort of an idea of a blog. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep these guys, man. They're not going anywhere. I know that they're thrashed. I could try to restore people are saying, but um, I don't know, man. I just like the, the way they are. It's just kind of a m memory for me to have. A lot of the older kicks that I have like that, I've I've gotten rid of. I just I end up just getting rid of them and just rotating them in and out. And I really wish I had all those old ones again now because there's so many of them that I want. One pair that I'm looking for in particular, it's called the Air Max Deluxe. Uh, I think it came out around 99 or 2000. It was just a dope, like a Nike Air Max uh, running shoe, and it was in white and blue and black, and it was just in orange. It was crazy. Definitely want those back again. I have a whole bunch of them like that that I want back, but um, Air Sunders in the yellow colorway. Um, anyway, that's enough of that. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.